Dad says I can stay up to watch it. He won't. How do you know? Your father and I talk about these things, so don't try to play us against each other. I gotta try. It's what I do. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Is uh, Alan here? Father Huggy Bear. Yes, my child. You've got company, Alan. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Okay. You must be Jake. Uh huh. And you must be Jake's grandma. <laughs> Judith, hi. Why don't you go watch some cartoons? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? What do you mean? Oh, please. She has to be half your age. Oh, that. Yeah, I am pretty proud of that. <laughs> What could you possibly have in common? What do you talk about? Talk? <laughs> to tell you the truth, we haven't really done a lot of talking. <laughs> I mean, I, I did hear her confession. <laughs> She's been a very bad girl. <laughs> and I'm supposed to leave Jake here? What kind of message does that send him? I don't know. Dreams can come true. Life is beautiful. There is a God. <laughs> hey, Jude. Father. I suppose you're the one that introduced Alan to that slutty little... Don't say it, Judith. You'd just be demeaning all women. And yes. Figures. Well, I don't want her around my son. Oh, oh really? So do I get to screen the men that you're dating? And, and let's not forget, I know about that guy who delivered the truckload of sod. What about him? It doesn't take two months to put down a new lawn, Judith. <laughs> Sounds like she got laid before the sod did. <laughs> Dignify that with a response. Watch out for crabgrass. <laughs> so, what's candy? A nun? Mm. Catholic school girl. Oh, excellent choice. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, how are things with uh, Mia? Not bad. She forgives me, introduced me to her parents. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How'd that go? Well, you know, those things are always awkward. <laughs> But the big news is I'm taking Mia to the Bel Air Hotel tonight, where we will finally express our love for one another in the way that we were meant to. Drunk and in a hurry. You got it. 